In exercise four of the Jasmine workshop series, we'll be looking at extracting a variable from a file in the era interim data set held within the CEDAR archive. Our scenario is this. I'm working on a project studying global cloud cover. I'm looking at a case study and I've identified that the era interim data set is an appropriate data source. It happens to be held on the CEDAR archive, which is located on Jasmine and is accessible from the Jasmine servers. And I'm interested in, in extracting a variable called total cloud cover or TCC for a spe specific date and time. Um, the data files contain a large set of variables and I want to use a particular command line tool in order to just extract the variable of interest. That command line tool happens to be um, known as CDO or the climate data operators. So our objectives are as follows. After completing this exercise, I will be able to locate data from the CEDAR archive on the Jasmine file system. I'll be able to run a command line tool to extract data from the CEDAR archive and to write output files to a Jasmine group workspace. So what does this mean in terms of resources? So in terms of Jasmine resources, we'll have access to the Jasmine login servers. That's our starting point. Then we'll be moving on to the Jasmine SI servers that allow us to do interactive compute where we um, run tasks one at a time and, and observe the output. Um, we'll need access to the common software available on Jasmine so we can access the CDO tool. We'll need access to a group workspace to be able to read and write to the storage um, and access to the CEDAR archive. So these are curated data sets in the CEDAR catalog and that, these are available read-only access on the Jasmine file system. And also we'll, we'll talk slightly about the help documentation um, that is relevant to all of this. In terms of local resources, you will need access to an SSH client and your Jasmine credentials. And your SSH client will typically be on your local machine, which could be Windows, Linux, or a Mac, um, and maybe your um, part of your institute's machines, or it might be a laptop or something like that, that you are logged in via a, a virtual private network or VPN. Okay, so the task outline is as follows um, and the recommended way of doing each step is covered in detail in the cheat sheet section um, but you may wish to try solving it for yourself first so your starting point is being logged in on a jasmine login server and we demonstrated this in exercise one you will then ssh to a scientific analysis server or sci server you then identify the path to the required data file in the era interim data set. You then need to decide on an output file path where you're going to write your output data. You will then activate an environment, which is a software environment that contains the climate data operators tool or the CDO tool. We'll run that tool to subset the input file and extract the TCC variable. And then finally, we'll do a quick check of the contents of the output file with another command line tool known as ncdump, which allows us to just have a sanity check on the, the, the NetCDF file that's being produced. When you finish working through the task, there are some extra questions here, which you can test yourself with, if necessary, referring to the help documentation. The same questions are in the notes, so you can refer to them when you have finished working through the exercise. We'll go through the solutions to the questions in the next video. So what next? Try out the task for yourself. Um, when you've been through it, watch the solutions and discussion video. That video includes a walkthrough of the task. It includes discussions of alternative approaches and guidance on best practice. It also gives answers to the self-test questions.